AWS CloudFormation is a service that helps you model and set up your Amazon Web Services resources so that you can spend less time managing those resources and more time focusing on your applications that run in AWS. You don't need to individually create and configure AWS resources and figure out what's dependent on what. AWS CloudFormation handles all of that. Now let's start on the Ant Media CloudFormation setup and continue step by step. Firstly, you will need to subscribe to the Ant Media server on the Amazon Marketplace. Please proceed by clicking the Continue to Subscribe button. And you need to proceed by clicking the Accept Terms button. This step takes some time. If everything goes well, you will see this screen. Go to the AWS dashboard and type CloudFormation in the search box. You'll see CloudFormation and click on it. Here, you are on the CloudFormation page. Click on Create Stack from the menu. Now, it is time for us to download the CloudFormation template. To do that, you need to go to the Ant Media Scripts GitHub repository. You'll see the CloudFormation file and click on it. And then click on AWS Autoscale template file. This is our CloudFormation template. Please download the template. You can find the download link in the video description. After downloading, select Upload a template file and upload the downloaded file. This is the menu where you will adjust all your settings. Stack name. You will describe your stacks with this name. Ant Media Edge Capacity. You need to specify how many Edge servers you want to create here. Ant Media Edge Capacity Max. Set the maximum limit that the number of Edge servers will reach with Autoscale. Ant Media Origin Capacity. Specify here how many Origin servers will be created. Ant Media Origin Capacity Max. Set the maximum limit that the number of Origin servers will reach with Autoscale. CPU Policy Target Value. Average CPU utilization of the autoscaling group. When the server reaches 60% CPU utilization average, the new servers will be added. Edge instant type. You select edge instant type here. Email. Type here subscription email address. Key name. An Amazon EC2 key pair name. If there is no value here, you must create an SSH key. Load balancer certificate ARN. Amazon resource name of the certificate to associate with the load balancer. You need to go to the Certificate Manager. Copy the ARN. Then you need to paste ARN here. MongoDB Instant Type. You select MongoDB Instant Type. Origin Instant Type. You continue with the origin server instant type. RTMP. If you want to install RTMP load balancer, please select true. SSH location. The IP address range that can be used to SSH to the EC2 instances. Subnets. The list of subnet IDs in your virtual private cloud, VPC. You must choose at least two subnets from the same VPC network. VPC CIDR block associates a CIDR block with your VPC. It should be the same as the VPC ID. VPC ID. VPC ID of your existing virtual private cloud. The VPC ID must be the same as the subnets you choose. Please proceed by clicking Next button. In this section, you can view and check the summary of the parameters you have entered, and you can edit them here. IM permissions are needed to go to the next step. If the template has been installed successfully, you will see a green text Create Complete. But this may take a while. We just set up our cluster. When you click on the URL of the load balancer, Ant Media Dashboard will be opened. You can log in with James Bond and the first instance's instant ID as password in your origin group. If you don't know the instance ID, please SSH to your MongoDB instance and write this command via terminal. 
it gives you an output like this. Your password is the one in password field. You are now on the Ant Media dashboard. When you click on the cluster tab, you can see the servers in cluster. AWS CloudFormation makes your job easy. If you go back to AWS and open the EC2 console, you will see the instances under the Resources section. Click on it and see your instances you set up. If you want to completely delete your cluster, go back to the CloudFormation page. You will see the Delete button at the top right. Click on it and continue the process. After a while, your cluster will be deleted.